Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna talk, be talking about Keyshot animation and I was asked to explain how I did one short scene from this OnePlus 6 concept video that I've made. So let's get right into it. That short scene starts at 28 seconds. 20 seconds and let's see how it looks. We have all the phones lined up. They are all red except one that is white. Now, they are moving as you can see in this last position the white phone is let's say above every every above all all others and the red phones have one by one moved down except for a few of them that moved up along with this white phone and after that we have we have these red phones one by one uh, turning into white starting with the white phone that turned into black as you can see they are gonna become all white and they are b getting back into the red so that was the question how I did it how I did it let's take a look at the clip once more because it's really fast so moving and turning colors so that was the question now it was done by doing two things first thing was this animation where we had all the phones red except one and they are just practically moving and here movement stop and that is first key shot animation that you need for this I think it's four seconds clip so yeah in the first part we just have the movements and you have to add animation for all of these phones manually and that was the first part now the the second part is what's what was bothering you because you thought it was made with keyshot animation like this one but answer is not it was not made with keyshot animation it was just made with keyshot but how let's see so scene 14 open now in this scene as you can see I already have this phone black some of them are white and two of them are red now uh, the way that I made this short clip is by doing image by image so we have here nine images and the first one is where all of them are red and one of them is black just like in our clip in this let's see which second it was it was here as you can see so that was the first frame and frame by frame so yeah one frame is here one image so that was first frame next frame was made as you can see two of them turned from red to white the next frame another two turned white next frame another and yeah one by one we had phones switching colors so that was like I said not keyshot animation I was just here in Keyshot and yeah let's say that actually because it's hard here with these images let's say that this was my first frame so I'm gonna uh, make these two whites so give me just a second okay so this is that let's call it last frame we can call it first frame it's not important it's this one just a second all the phones are white one of them is black same like in my scene so once I have this this thing prepared I would go to render and click render but not with animation it's just a still image so that would be the first image done for next image what I would have to do or for next frame it's it's this one what I would have to do is to go to Keyshot 
and change these colors to red. So yeah, that was how I done it. It was manual work of turning just these colors. So yeah, once I change the color, I have to go once more into render and render another image. And that's how I got this frame. For next frame, of course, I would have to turn another phone to red. And for next one, another phone and another and another until I get all of them into the, the red color. Now, like I said, it will be done one by one. We will just have to copy these materials. And here in Keyshots, luckily, this is easy task. And yeah, if you want to copy material uh, fast, what you want to do is go with your cursor over that material, hold shift and, and do left click. Now to copy it somewhere, you go control, shift, right click. And that's mostly it. So yeah, this would be my next frame I would render another image. Now, once you have all of these images, it's gonna look like this. Image 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, how to put all of these images in Premiere and get the, get the video out of these images. So here are the, these images in one folder. I'm gonna turn off key shots and go into Premiere. Once you have all of those images done, you go here on in the in the project library, you click right click and you go to import. And now you have all of these images lined up. It's pretty important they have all like same name, like 14.1, 14.2, 14.3. When you have those those names lined up like that, the uh, Premiere is gonna prompt you for the image sequence. Now, image sequence just means that uh, Premiere is gonna import these nine image, images as a sequence. And one sequence is, let's, let's say, one short clip that we need for this video. We click open. It's gonna appear here and you can put it anywhere in the in your project. I'm gonna put it here just so I can explain what I did after that. So, this is now not nine images. Like I said, this is one short clip. Once you play it, it's gonna quickly, sorry, it's gonna quickly go and switch colors. Now, if you don't want uh, this to be as fast, let's just go over it. If you don't want this to be so fast, you can go right click, speed duration and slow it down to, for example, I used 50%, I think, okay. And once I play it, it's a lot easier to view. It's still fast, but you can see it. So that was the answer to your question and of course I also had I think in this clip yeah I was having it going in both sides so they were all red they became white and again they gone from white back to the red so all I did there was copying this short clip, pasting it here, and this second clip was uh, reversed here, okay, connect these two, and you have one clip going in normal direction, and the second one being reversed, 
and that's how you have it. So yeah, that was that was answer to your question. I hope you understand this now. And yeah, this might take a little bit of time comparing to doing keyshot animation. So yeah, this was this was done uh, fully manually. And that was all. I think I also had like one invert in this in this scene. So to do that frame invert uh, look, all you gotta do is take first frame, split it here. You see now it's separated from the clip. And we go here in effects, we say invert. And once you place the invert effect, effect to your clip, come on. Oh, it's this one actually. <laughs> okay, you see it's gonna invert all colors, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you have some more questions, be free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer it. Bye bye.